goal strike. And his hand is beautifully finished. Nice. Sons waiting in the middle, and going for it with Kane, who set himself for a shot and scores splendidly. Post twice at the other end. Kane finds the back of the net. The post. Mallet. Tottenham fight back again. Yeah, wonderful chance. He doesn't fail them. Hi everyone, my name is Anil Wako and welcome to another edition of the Gist Show. On this show we talk about sports, politics, fashion, finance, anything. But today we are focusing on sports. And um, this week we are having Champions League coming up. Big games are here, the, boys, the big boys are here, they are in the city. And um, to talk about that with me, I have here with me, Emmanuel, also known as Carrasco. Yeah, thank you very much. You're welcome to the show, bro. Yeah, I'm happy. Thank you. You're welcome to the show. So, uh, let's talk about today's fixtures. We have um, Athens playing against Bayern Munich. We have um, Young Boys playing Valencia. We have Ajax playing Benfica. We have Offenheim playing Lyon. We have Shaka Dres playing Man City. We have Roma playing against CSK Moscow. And we have Real Madrid playing Victoria Pleasant. And we have Manchester United playing against Juventus. For this, for just today alone, that's uh, let's say like Tuesday, we have the big boys playing as well. But the biggest game for today is um, Manchester United versus Juventus. Ronaldo is in town. Our boy is boiling. <laughs> so, what you talk about that game, bro? Yeah, actually, uh, first of all, uh, we'll talk about, we're going to say about Manchester United versus Juventus. It's going to be a fantastic football. Okay. 90 minutes. Full action, action. Full action. action. <laughs> yes, Ronaldo coming back to Old Trafford for some years and wow. also Mourinho facing Juventus again because he has played with Juventus when he was in Italy Milan. Milan exactly. Yeah, sure. So the game is going to be superb. When we look at the form of Juventus and Manchester United this season, okay. Juventus has played eight matches. The win one draw that is 25 points. Okay. Mario have been struggling, we know struggling. <laughs> at least the last match they played against Chelsea, against Chelsea. at Stamford Bridge. Was a fantastic game, but when we look at their performance and uh, head to head, uh, if I should go for anybody winning this night, it's just Juventus, Juventus, Juventus all the way. Yeah, all Juventus the way, all, all the way. way. Yeah, sure. Okay, so do you see Ronaldo scoring on his second return back to Old Trafford? He returned one with Real Madrid, yeah, sure. but now he's coming with Juventus. Yeah. Do you see him scoring? He hasn't scored this this season in Champions League. Yeah. Do you see him opening his goal account against? United. Yeah, uh, in the in the, in the sense of scoring. Yeah. Now we have a rival that used to compete with him on goal. That's Leo oh, Messi. Messi. He's off for an injury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is going to be a good opportunity for first so, uh, day. So where is the hey, pictures? Yo, we have a um, club Bruges playing against Monaco. Yeah. We have PSV playing against Tottenham Hotspur. Yeah. We have Real Madrid playing against Atletico Madrid. We have Barcelona playing against Inter Milan. We have PSG Napoli. We have Liverpool, Fresno, uh, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know the name of the team. So, and we have uh, Lokomotiv Moscow versus Porto. We have Galatasaray playing Shaka 04. So, let's talk about two big games of Wednesday. We have um, PSG playing Napoli. So, what do you think the outcome of the game will be? Don't, don't forget that PSG actually rested um, Neymar for this game. And Napoli are also, they're also in good form this season. So, what do you think that's going to be? As well, do you think, uh, or how do you think the game will go? Okay, uh, when we talk about PSG against Napoli, okay. uh, the present form of Paris Saint Germain yeah. this season has been excellent. At least yeah. I watched their last previous game, it was fabulous. In form Mbappe, Cavani, Neymar, Marquinhos, yeah. Thiago Silva. They, 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 just, they just have those. All of them are there. fabulous. Just, that's, that's so, <laughs> playing against a team Napoli, creative young stars, with the guy Hamzik, Insink, Martins. Yeah. Wow, it's going to be a fantastic football. Wow, I'll be going for PSG in the sense that because PSG in the group, when I was checking the group yesterday, PSG was in third, third position. So they need that match very well because after playing with Napoli, they are going to play a return leg again with that same Napoli. So they need a win by all means so that they can get the win against Napoli, playing the second leg, maybe a draw, it will be okay for them to qualify. But for that game, I will tip in a win for PSG. A win yes. for PSG. A win for PSG. Be okay for them. Yeah. And we'll be seeing Barcelona without Lionel Messi yeah, sure. facing Inter Milan at the Camp Nou. Yes. What do you think it will look like for Barcelona without Lionel Messi in this game? How would they cope without Lionel Messi in this game? Well, against 
Inter Milan without Lionel Messi. Wow, it's going to be a very, very big challenge for Barcelona because in the last two matches which Barcelona played with Messi against Tottenham and uh, PSV, yeah. Messi scored actually in that first game, scored two goals against, against Tottenham. Tottenham. Now he's going to be out against Inter Milan, in form Inter Milan. I watched that game against AC Milan on Saturday. At least first half, they were not on point. But what they got, what they put in, uh, velocity. Yeah. So the guy had to try, the guy had to try his best to make it time Milan win that match because that match is a derby match. You have to win the match. So when you come to Italy Milan Barcelona, all right, let me see the match together. Barcelona defense. Yeah. Go to try a lot of Italy. Dangerous striker. But when it comes to Italy Milan defense, also they also have Dembele. Suarez, Montillo, Zakiti, Thiago Roberto. I'm tipping Barcelona with yeah. experience. Barcelona will win the match. With experience, a slight win. Barcelona, okay. yes. So, 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 think Barcelona will get the head in that game. Yes, Barcelona. I just make a predict 2 1. 2 1 to Barcelona. Yes. Okay, so let's go to the top scorers. We have Lionel Messi topping the charts with 5 goals. Okay. We have Neymar coming in with 3 goals. We have Zeko with three goals. We have Dybala with three goals. We have um, Griezmann with two goals. Icardi with two goals. But we don't have Cristiano Ronaldo here. I know you predicted Cristiano Ronaldo scoring today. Yeah, sure. Like he's going to get the goals against. Uh, but like well, where do you think everybody will finish at the end of the season? Like who, who will top the, the goal scoring list? Uh, goal scoring list for this year. I'll be giving it up to. Leo Messi. Leo Messi all the way. Leo Messi all the way. Okay, let's just wait for Messi quick recovery from his injury and let's hope that he brings back his best like Leo's does. Okay, so thank you for coming to the show, uh, Mano. And um, let's wish every team all the very best of luck. So, on that note, we've come to the end of another edition of the Gist Show Spot. And um, please don't forget to always watch our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Gist Official. My name is Anu Rapo. And see you next time on another edition. We love you. God bless you. Bye bye for now.